Today we've got Pilar on the show, who's one of the architects for an initiative called Mi Park. And they are determined to make the streets greener in Chile. Pilar, how exactly do you make these streets greener? Mi Parque is to recover and generate new green areas in vulnerable sectors by working with the communities involving them in the whole process, from the design, construction, and future maintenance of their own park. This working model tries to empower the communities by showing them if they work together, they have the power to change their environment. So you're saying that uh, people should be proud of their districts as well. Um, why is that? We believe in the dignity of every person. Uh, in Chile, there's a huge part of people that have to cross through a rubbish dump, through a foul field, just to get to their homes. Usually these places are the main focus of delinquency, drugs, bad habits. They're the gray areas from the communities. So what we try to do is transform those gray areas into new green areas, a new place for the families to gather and becoming the new heart of the neighborhood. Yeah, I guess it's very important for the safety for the area as well to make these streets greener. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, also, because of, of a climate thing, um, there's a huge deficit of green areas in the most vulnerable sectors. There's even in some places there is even less than one square meter of green area per person, very far from the nine square meters recommended by the World Health Organization. And Pilar, what inspired you to do this? What was your inspiration for this? Well, this started six years ago with a couple of architects who realized there were many policies that had to do with social housing, but none of them really considered the environment or the public space that should go with them along with this. And they, they realized these, these places were vital for the people. And if, if they didn't encounter them, at the end, it was going to bring a lot of problems. So they decided that the best way is to change the environment was by working with the neighbors who knew exactly what they needed. Sounds great. Thank you for sharing your story. Muchas gracias. And for more information, check out the link below. Bye-bye.